Sony has released another new firmware update for our beloved Sony a7 IV, the firmware version 4. As you see in the changelog, the benefits and improvements with this firmware version are not really major, but I think the most important one is the monitoring control app, which connects wirelessly to a camera and enables the video monitoring and remote control with a smartphone or tablet, which I'm going to review after updating the firmware. And this firmware also fixes the issue where peaking display would appear during movie playback. I didn't have this problem, I don't know what they are talking about, and improves the functionality and operational stability of the camera. The only thing you need is a SD card of the camera, and you just connect it to the laptop and load the firmware which you downloaded from the official Sony website. And then we are going to do the firmware update process with the camera. Let's go. Before starting, I should thank the sponsor of this video, Audio.com, which helps content creators like me to find their desired music really fast. They have a huge music catalog and sound effects library with lots of talented artists. With the filter controls, you can search for music by mood, genre, element, energy to find exactly what you need. You can get your first year of Audio Pro with 70% off using my coupon code SAVE70. The link is in the description. Do not forget to check this amazing offer by audio.com. So you copy the downloaded firmware in the root of the SD card and make sure you have backed up all of your photos and videos for caution and then we go to the menu and the last tab which is setup and then we go to the setup option and here we have a version as you see we have a software update option and then we press that we are updating from version 3 to version 4. If you are coming from version 1.0 or earlier you need to update first to the version 1.0. 0 5 and then you can proceed and here as you see it took around four minutes i sped up the video and as you see the body update is completed really easily and we are now on the version 4 of the firmware now it's time to take a look at the Sony monitoring control app. As you see, we can change the display mode, which is really nice. You get an option to switch between the program auto, shutter priority, aperture priority, and we have a touch tracking feature here. You can touch yourself and as you do it on the camera, which is really nice. We have the option to change the resolution of the live view, I think for a higher uh, resolutions like tablets which is really nice and we have an option to enable and disable the grid we get the false color which is really nice we have the waveform and it is really flexible you can change the position of the waveform which is really nice and when you go to the tools section you can choose to select which one, which one of these options you want to see in this monitor app you can select the zebra and as you see here i am changing the zebra here to around 94 which is the uh, maximum zebra for the s log tree and uh, you can enable it and check the picture as you see i am increasing the iso so you can see the zebra on my face which is really nice it offers you so much options this monitoring control app and the latency is really good also you can change the aperture as you see it works really fluid and nice and I really love the fluidity of this app. It works really great. It has been uh, really good optimized for the camera and as you see you can change the focus to manual focus and it works really well. It's not as smooth as the uh, manual focus which you do with the lens but it is good to have it. And other than that you see that focus area you can change them as you do it on the camera. You have the face IAF priority, you have the AF transition speed and the sub subject sensitivity which is really nice. You can change the shutter speed. You, have, you get most of the options as you do on the camera which is really nice. And other than that you see that you can uh, hold the record button and stop it and you can change the white balance and lots of great options which uh, this app offers you which is really nice i am really amazed by the performance of this app and as you see here we have a fps option for variable and fixed i'm not sure what this means i haven't uh, used and seen this option on the camera so i'm not sure what this means but other than that you also see that we get a focus distance option on the app as you see it is uh, telling me that the focus distance is 2.3 meters which is really nice and i didn't see this option in the camera but we are getting this option in the monitor app which is really nice such a beautiful option as i move it just changes the focus distance 
which is really beautiful such a great option and other than that you see that when I press the record it immediately records on the camera not so much latency as you see here it is really fast and fluid and overall I can say that this app works really well and you can use it instead of buying a monitor and you would be happy with the performance thank you so much for watching this review guys if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment sections and I will be seeing you in my future videos goodbye